And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set and on the hill Corbin Burns. Well his main pitch is that cutter and he will use it to jam guys especially opposite handed matchups and then you know same handed matchups just trying to miss the barrel of the bat. He's just got to make sure that he doesn't start it over the heart of the plate because then it can go Maybe right into right the sweet spot right of the bat. When it's right it's got a late horizontal Maybe. movement so he still has to mix in his other offerings. He can't just rely on that cutter otherwise hitters will start diving at it. Curveball drops in for a strike. And that one almost got him. And this is the zone. And now it's three and two. And batter waits. And that's ball four. Oh, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close really cool pitches. And somehow, but he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Digging in, Corey Jones. On the ground, could be two. On a second, they get one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. The 1 1. And it's fouled away. Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Breaking ball inside. It's two and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Hit in the air. Center field. Mullins settles under it. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Back here in Baltimore, getting the nod in this one, Chris Flexen. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Sends it over to Sheets. One gone, bottom half of the first. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. One out, base is empty. Next offering is downstairs. And that one fouled off. Here's a 2 2. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a pitch. 
Got it by him for the K. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. The pitch. Good eye right there. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. The pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back there. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. That was blasted to the moon. It's 1-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Bill. We knew it wasn't coming back. <laughs> Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Anthony Santander at the plate. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early nope, enough. He can flight. settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the catch in and over. Solo Homer brings in one for Baltimore. It's now a one nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. At the belt and fires. Swing and a pop-up. Holiday settles under this one. Brings it in. And there's one down. Here's Corey Lee. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. Headed down the line, and that's a foul ball. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. Got him looking for the K. Man, he had a stanky leg on that one right there. That curveball just locked him up. And now it's Luis Robert. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact. Hi. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the White Sox go quietly. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail here, one nothing. Bottom half of inning number off. two, oh, and now Colton no Kowser. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Just off the outside part of the plate. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, Singy. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that. But doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job. Just couldn't keep it fair. The punch out there. And there's one down. Frustrating end to the at bat for the that hitter. Is. And I'm sure that's going to sit on for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And now it's going to be Cedric Mullins. 
Base is empty one away. Bottom half of inning number two. In the air out towards right center. Sizing this one up. And it's caught for the out. Batting seven. The white field. Austin. Austin Slater stands in. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. This one in the air right field. Corrals it. And that ends the inning. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Back now at Oriole Park. On to the third inning. Now here is Dominic Fletcher. Dominic Fletcher. Looking to get the tying run on base. Little chopper rolls foul. And the 2 2. That was 95 to finish him off. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, man. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And now here is Miguel Vargas. And down on strikes. Two away. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. And now the shortstop, Jacob Amaya. That one fouled off. Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Hit in the air, right field. And that is that. And we're back. Leading and now, off. Jackson Holiday. The second baseman. Jackson Holiday. And it's even up. Two and two. Bounce to the left side. Oh. And it goes just foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. And now, Gunnar Henderson. Two out spaces empty. Next offering is in for a strike. Just missed. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Three ball. Two strike. Bounced out to short. Amaya. 
on to first. And the Orioles set down in order. Orioles held in check there. They lead it 1 0. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Stepping in, the White Sox lead off man, Nicky Lopez. To third, Rivera. Throws the first in time. And one ball to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Corey Jolts steps to the plate for the White Sox. And that's outside. to right. Slater gets under. He's got it. And there's two down. Now left Andrew. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. And the pitch. On the ground out to short. Henderson over to first in time. Third out. Nothing doing for the White Sox. And it remains 1-0. Bottom of the fourth. Now off. the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. The pit pit. Adley. And a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Vargas drifts towards it, nabs it, and there's one down. Now, now back, first, first baseman, baseman. Ryan. Ryan. Oh, and now the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Fouled off to the right. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swings and misses. Pulled the string of the changeup. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. A sort of your typical power hitter. Wouldn't necessarily call him a three true outcome guy, but he's in there to hit home runs. Yeah, and there's nothing Ooh. wrong with that. Fans dig the long One ball. ball. He's great. Two outs. No, Just missed. And down on strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing this time around for the O's, but they still lead it 1 0. We go to the top of the fifth, and here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Left hand hitter waits. And a big swing and a miss. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swung on, Belton on the move. Bounces over the wall in foul ground. It's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, bro. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Making a move at second base. And on a pinch run for the White Sox, Brooks Baldwin. Corey Lee steps to the plate for the White Sox. In the air to left, down the line. On the move. Hauls it in for the end. 
just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Luis Robert now. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Line, and that's a base hit. Headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. He will score, and the White Sox tie it up. It's 1-1. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Go ahead, run on base. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. That's oh, off the mark, and a count to an all. One away, tie game, go ahead, run, stands at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. Robert on the go. Pitch misses inside. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Okay. Three and two now. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. Not afraid to throw it right there. That's trusting your stump. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Now a chance for Miguel Vargas. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. One and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Gets a piece and stays alive. And here it comes. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. There's a line drive to left field. And one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. In comes the run from second. They take the lead. It's 2-1. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Next for Chicago, Jacob Amaya. Man at second. Oh. That's in there. And that's strike two. Another ball. Nicky Lopez to bat next. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the White Sox 2 and the Orioles 1. So coming into the game now on defense, number 47. He takes over as the new first baseman. 
Well, one run game. Colton Kowser getting ready to hit. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. The pitch. He walked in. And that will keep things going. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even enough to think about. No outs. Rubber first. And the batter now, Cedric Mullins. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Last half of inning number five. And there's the strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. A one-two. To the right side. Steps on the back for one. Puts the tag on him, and it's a double play. Orioles down to their final out. Austin Slater, the next to hit for the Orioles. Ball to strike. Position. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Stepping in, Jackson Holiday. So the tying run at second. Flexen is just one strike away. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. On the ground right side. Throw to first. Ball game. And the White Sox hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Kind of a strange win, only three hits, so they definitely weren't firing on all cylinders there. Great pitching, really kept them in it and gave them a chance.